Hi guys, welcome back to another yard vlog. I'm here with Cal and Dally. Gonna take you along, show you what we get up to with the horses today. So in these clips, Dee Dee and I are gonna have a jump together. Dee Dee is relatively new. I got her at the end of last year. She was 14, so is now 15. And just really getting to know her. She's a little pocket rocket. She's really fun to ride in the flat work. She's like super chill. Like you could put a child on her. You could put somebody really nervous on her or like a granny on her. And she'd really look after them and take care of them. And to jump, she's just electric. She's really brave. She's really forward. I'm really enjoying riding her. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, get out to some shows especially because Holly is arriving soon. So yes, we'll be very excited to get out and about together to some competitions with our horses. So this is actually my first time to jump again with Gabbana. Four and a half weeks ago, I had a bad fall with a horse and I dislocated something in my shoulder. So I wasn't allowed to ride for four weeks. Thankfully that has healed well now and I'm back in the saddle. So yeah, this was my first time to jump Gabbana. So just kind of warmed up over some small fences on each diagonal and then jumped a small course and then jumped a slightly bigger course. And yeah, I just really wanted to get a feel because it's been quite a few weeks since I jumped. I had jumped DD once before this, a small course. So it was really just to get a feel and to get back into the swing of things. Looking forward to getting out to some shows in the next couple of weeks, especially because Holly Lenehan is going to be joining us soon. And as you know, Cal and Dally are already here. Their videos are coming soon later in this video.
time for a haircut. Get ready for some shows, Gabbana. Take a look at this mane. Yeah, I know. It's pretty, pretty long. I am about to mutilate the scissors, but hopefully it won't look too bad when I'm finished. <laughs> Oh, these are good scissors. That is very satisfying cut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they probably proper hair scissors or like? Um, these are like human kitchen scissors. Oh, they're <laughs> probably neat scissors. And I just thin out the back part, get rid of the little pieces. Apparently it's quite easy to cut because it's not so thick. Yeah. Some nice, kind of like Momo's, very nice. Oh, Cabana. No. Please look at Jake people if you pull me in to do this differently. You do you. I do me. Yeah. We like scissor cut here. Finishing touches. Yeah. It doesn't look as bad as it did when I started. No, it looks really good actually. Now we're thinning. My mum taught me this technique. She's actually a human hairdresser, so. And what's technique like? Here's Lauren? some human hair cutting techniques that you can apply to your horse. Tell, tell us how it works. Yeah, there you go. Just don't cut the first layer of hair and cut the back. On a diet, on like a, up, up into the hair. Yeah, into the hair. Try not to take a chunk out of the front line of hair. Totally, yeah. And then you have to brush it because there's all these little straggly bits sometimes. A couple of stragglies here. Very nice. Happy Gabbana? She's like, no, put the outside. <laughs> She's like, I want to go. Okay, dirty girl. She's like, I know this like the back of my Very good. The rope makes it look uneven. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's kind of straight. The van is pretty even both sides. Some horses are not. It is normal. These stretches can help you make your horse more even. You have to do them regularly. Isn't that right, Kara? Yep. Yeah, stretching is king. It's religious. Yeah, it is religious here. Stretching is a religion in this yard. <laughs> okay. We should probably do stretching too. Yeah, we're going to do it after we cut his mane. Yeah, it's a bit more square and done. Got to make sure your stand is square and forward. See how she cheats <laughs> by lifting the leg a little yeah. bit because she's a little bit stiffer on this side usually. Come on, like this. She's like, my life is full. Hold on, hold your horses. See how she flexes around to the right? Some horses will keep their neck straight. Come on, no, so we're going to do it from the left side also for evenness. She's a bit <laughs> I was like, her mouth's a bit full. See, she flexes a little bit left. This side, some horses will keep the neck totally straight. And we never go behind the front legs because it places too much stress on the limbs when they start to bend the knees and they cheat. Good. The moment they bend the front legs, they're not stressing through the back. Isn't that right, babe? 
need to prepare smaller pieces of carrot to speed up this process. <laughs> Come on. Time lapse. <laughs> it's, it's just a time lapse now. Fast forward. Yeah, she cheated. Yeah, she cheated a little bit. Usually means a little bit of tension in the back. Okay. We go for belly lift. Go for belly lift. You're very good belly lift. Good range of motion in your spine, buddy. Okay, let's get tacked up. So here is Cal and Dolly. I am riding Dolly and Kiara is on Cal. I'm sure if any of you are active on the horse side of YouTube, you probably know Cal and Dolly from Holly's YouTube channel. Holly is going to be joining us at the weekend, but until then, we get to enjoy riding Cal and Dolly. Obviously, we don't know the horses, they don't know us, but they've both been super nice to ride, really easy, and we are looking forward to Holly joining us very soon.
That brings us to the end of our vlog today. It's not going to be long before Holly is back with her two lovely boys. See you soon, guys. Oh, enjoy. <laughs>